if I were to advise a medical student or young resident today, it is be evidence-based, and I go back to what Father Polakowski first told me about 40 years ago. Always label what you know, what you don't know, and what you believe. On a daily basis, always keep an open mind that what you believe might be wrong. As we move into a new age of medicine, Dr. Brawley is a firm believer in delivering care that is evidence-based. In his book, How We Do Harm, Dr. Brawley explores the disparities in healthcare and how care is sometimes delivered with money in mind rather than what is best for the patient. This is the era of transparency in medicine, so uh, he's one of the exemplars of that. He's uh, someone who has no problem telling the truth regardless of the political consequences. We actually waste a lot of money and we send a lot of resources in the things that we don't know work while there are other issues such as uh, good diet, physical activity uh, that clearly could save lives that we're not putting an emphasis on. And I've actually tried to put an emphasis on the things that are scientifically proven beneficial and let's de-emphasize those things that we think might be worthwhile and maybe do studies to figure out if they actually are worthwhile. Develop the evidence. As Chief Medical Officer of the American Cancer Society, Dr. Brawley is a voice of hope. By informing the community and separating scientifically proven facts from all the other ideas, lives are being saved. I selected uh, Otis in 2007 to be our new Chief Medical and Scientific Officer, and I did it because of his knowledge and experience, but also his leadership skills and his passion and uh, dedication to eliminating cancer as a major public health problem. Uh, with Otis at the helm, I think we'll finish the fight this century and make this cancer's last century. I saw a tremendous opportunity to save lives, to prevent deaths from cancer and other diseases. And always had in my mind that uh, John F. Kennedy quote, one man can make a difference and every man should try. In many respects, this is my opportunity to actually make a difference. Uh, this is payback to the Jesuits that taught me in high school. It's payback to the folks who adopted me and supported me when I was in grade school. The folks from the inner city of Detroit, most of whom have never had any formal education, but actually saw a reason to invest in me. You know, I owe it to them to tell people the truth and to speak to power and to say, this is what is true, this is what is not true, this is what is wrong, this is how we can actually improve the lot of Americans. Mm -hmm.